I'm ready. What up? Let's get to it. So Jerron and his boots did his thing last night, man. Very impressive win. Very impressive victory, dog. Heavy. You hear me? And this is really, I ain't even going to cap. That was really the first time me seeing him fight, full fight, you know. I've been checking out his film, watching some of his highlights, right? But as far as watching him fight on the screen, et cetera, et cetera, spectacular talent, dog. Spectacular talent, huh? Matter of fact, and like I say, I ain't got no picks. I ain't picking no sides. We talking boxing facts, how I feel. I feel like Jerron Ennis Boots will beat Terrence Crawford. Heavy, dog. Once again, no disrespect. You know, Terrence Crawford, phenomenal fighter, homie, taking nothing away from him. You hear me? I think it will be a great fight. I'm not uh knockout, probably not, but split decision or unanimous decision. You hear me? I think Jerron Ennis Boots takes it, dog. Yeah, I think I saw enough last night. You know, you can see the slight separation, homie, as far as power. I think Jerron Ennis Boots has more power. Speed, I think he's faster than Terrence Crawford. And like he said in previous interviews, homie, whatever Crawford can do, he can do and potentially better, dog. And once again, I got to keep reiterating, no disrespect to Crawford, dog. Two great fighters, two great champions. But this is a fight that's, that must happen, and I think when – if the fight happens, because you know with boxing, <laughs> fight could take damn near 10 years to happen, dog. Who wants to see it then? You know, you know, that's where boxing is, that's where UFC and boxing, that's that's the separation, dog. In boxing, the best don't always fight the best. If they do, it takes way too long. You hear me? Way too long, dog. So I hope this fight, I th hope this fight happens sooner than later, dog. Heavy, no cap. It must happen for boxing, for the sport of boxing. It'll be great for everybody, dog. Fans, etc. cetera. You hear me? Fans, etc. cetera, dog. You hear me? But, yeah, so Jerron and his boost, he, 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 he has all the skills, homie. You know what I'm saying? He has all the skills, dog. Definitely has all the skills. Man, I think he will give Crawford the toughest fight of his life. Like I said, I will think he will get the victory, dog. You know, he has power. Um... He can break you down. He can go to the body. He can go up top. Footwork, phenomenal. Roll, rolling punches. He's great at rolling punches, catching a dude. Roll, catch, roll, catch. You hear me? You know, and, I mean, just from last night, I didn't see too many weaknesses. You know, he did take some punches here and there, but a lot of those punches he was rolling. Yeah, you, you hear me? A lot of those punches he was rolling intentionally, getting, getting touched intentionally so he could fire back so he could have the dude come in feel comfort, get him in his comfort zone, catch him. You saw when he knocked him down, he got hit. Oh, it looked like a big hit, but it, it wasn't nothing for real. He caught him, boom, straight cross. You hear me? Knocked him down. So boxers like Jerron Ennis, a lot of times they're setting their opponent up. You hear me? <laughs> you may think he's getting hit, but he's really rolling. He's really rolling. You hear me? Rolling, bam, rolling, catch. Rolling, catch, dog, <laughs> period. So, yes, he, he's the best at 147. You know, and this fight, if Terrence, if Terrence Crawford doesn't fight him, now I know they said he's going to unify the 147 pound weight class, then move up to 154. My question is if him and Terrence Crawford were really going to get out and bang, like they said, why did Terrence Crawford leave 147? You know what I'm saying? Now, Terrence Crawford could say, I'm the A side. You got to come up to me. I do what I want to do. I feel that I respect it. But at the end of the day, I've said this in a previous video a long time ago, right? If Terrence Crawford wants to say he's the best in the game, he must fight Jerron in his boots, though. You know, even if he's not ducking, even if it's rumors and cap, he must prove he's not ducking. You hear me? He has to make sure that fight happens, though. But yes, from the outside looking in, Jerron in his boots is that guy. Is that guy, homie? <laughs> period. Period. Point blank. Period. Uh, heavy. Only thing that he needs to work on, if I'm just going saying is something, uh, maybe take less hits. You hear me? But like I say, a lot of those, he was rolling, getting hit intentionally to throw his shit. You hear me? Get his off. Because obviously he didn't fear the dude's power. <laughs> you could tell fourth round, even third round, he did not fear this dude's power at all. Heavy. Shout out to him. He was a tough warrior, great warrior. Came in last minute, weeks notice, took the fight. You know, took the fight with the skill level much different. But he was tough. He was a tough dude. And Jerron Ennis got him out of there, dog. But I say what he needs to work on is the defense. Get better at defense. 
and not only not, not even just defense, so to say, but him not getting lackadaisical, not getting comfortable. You know, sometimes he has the tendency to get comfortable. He did it last night. You hear me? Dude was landing shots. He does that with a great fighter or or, or a fighter of Terrence Crawford's caliber. He could be in trouble. He don't need to take unnecessary hits. But like he said, fighting the best brings the best out of you. So you'll see a, even a more better, sharper version of, version of him, dog. You hear me? Facts, dog. So I don't think he will get lackadaisical. I don't think he will take rounds off with Terrence Crawford. You know, he knows everything's on the line. Stakes are on the line. So I don't think he's going to be like a day's local dog or nonchalant. I think he's going to keep his focus heavy. You hear me? But if anybody can beat Terrence Crawford, I think it's him. Some say August 3rd, Terrence Crawford, the, uh, the opponent he's facing, going to beat him. I don't know nothing about the dude. We're going to see. But Javon, Javon in his boots certified, solidified his name in that 147-pound weight class. And the fight to see is him and Terrence Crawford, dog. Do it for the fans. Do it for boxing, man. But that boy's a problem. That boy is a problem, dog. You know, I got to keep reiterating his boxing skills, natural ability. Just like Terrence Crawford can fight Southpaw, he can fight Southpaw, homie. You hear me? Orthodox or Southpaw, he can do it all, man. And he said he felt rusty. He felt off last night. That's feeling off. Think about him feeling on. <laughs> you hear me? If he felt off last night, felt a little ring rust, think about when he's feeling on, dog. Heavy. It's going to be trouble for anybody, homie. Trouble for anybody. 147, he's washing that. He's washing that, dog. He's running through it. He's running through it. I guarantee that. Hands down, man down. He is running through that weight class. He will, uni he will be unified in no time. He just got to stay active. Got to keep fighting, dog. He can't afford to. Sit out another year, two years. That's too much. He got to stay active. So they say they want to fight in November, October. That's perfect, homie. You hear me? I think him and Terrence Crawford should fight if Terrence Crawford win. Period. Bottom line. Point blank, duh. That's the fight to make. If boxing want to be great, make boxing great again. That's the fight that should be made. You hear me? Hands down, man down. But Jeron in his boots, he showed me enough, dog. He showed me enough that he could bang with anybody, homie. <laughs> And this was a tough dude. You know, he broke him down. Broke him down, homie. Some people complaining about the body shot. Dude pushed his head down. That's why he got hit low. But as far as pure talent, true talent, man, boots might be, man, I'm telling you, dog. Skill, all that, man, he might be top three now, pound for pound. You hear him? Heavy. I know people say, oh, it was just a, it was just a journey, man. Oh, he 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 did this, he did that. Dude didn't have no skill, but didn't Terrence Crawford fight the same guy? Didn't the same guy give Crawford a problem uh, problems a little bit? You hear me? <laughs> dude was tough. Dude could take a punch. That's another thing. In his boots can take a punch, homie. Tough chin, hard rock chin. That's important. You want to be a champion? You gotta have a chin, dog. He showed his chin last night. Cause it was times dude got some punches in, slipped some punches in, some solid shots. You hear me? You know, Ennis wasn't expected, being lackadaisical, like I say, being nonchalant, not fully focused in. And he looked tight at times. I'm sure he was trying to get the knockout for his Philly fans, you know, get the knockout, finish in dramatic fashion. But that was his first fight back in one a year, year and a half. So probably expected. Huh? But I think he just going to continue to get better and grow home. And then Philly, you see Philly really supports him. Philly really rocks with him, huh? Heavy, huh? <laughs> They sold what the what they sold to a rent out first time in Philly. That's respect, dog. That's respect there, heavy. So you he's proven he can sell out a fight, dog. He's a known name. Now I know it's in Philly, it's his hometown. So of course it's gonna be more people there if they support him, which they show they support him clearly here. But can he sell out Vegas? Can he sell out uh Brooklyn? You hear me? Barclay, you hear me? I think he can, especially. With another fighter with a big name, a Terrence Crawford name, man, what, boy, what? Sold out from jump, homie, period, huh? But yes, Jerron Ennis Boots is next up. He is that guy. I think he will beat Terrence Crawford. Once again, no disrespect to Crawford. It will be a battle. It will be a banger, you hear me? Great fight. Maybe one of the best fights in boxing history. But I think whether it's split decision or unanimous decision, I don't think nobody getting knocked out. But I say Jerron Ennis Boots takes the victory, dog. Period. But shout out him, man. You know, great performance once again. He did his thing, dog. He did his thing, earned his name, made his name. <laughs> you hear me? Made his name bigger. You hear me?
But that fight must happen. Him and Crawford must happen. No ifs, ands, buts about it, though. Make boxing great again. You hear me? Have, <laughs> let me know how you feel about it. Fire them comments up. Like, comment, and subscribe. Hit that bell. Make sure you hit that bell, man. Support the grind. Support the channel. Big warrior here. Babylon, stay aware. <laughs> you ain't going to get it because you ain't got it. Back. <laughs> Big war. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs>